Hello guys and gals, and welcome back to my Resident Evil 4 playthrough. This is part 3 of I Do Believe. And I have my loyal companion here. Oh hi, what's up guys? I'm the Assassin 3453. I'm longing for this crazy train ride. Yep, and I'm taking him to hell with me. And here you have the look, and... Oh, if you did hear him, one of the villagers just said shit in Spanish. Alright. There's a call. And cop. in the last episode, if you guys caught it... Hopefully he remembers to put a link in the description below. But in the last episode, I do recall that you hey, were going to go off into this mysterious pueblo. Sorry, I was looking at a chicken. What's up? <laughs> oh, God. Bring me that chicken. That's not what you said the first time. Shut up. Oh, one of the zombies just, just yelled out, hey, over here, and the other one. Yeah, that one just yelled out, poop, in Spanish, the, the rude version, and go get him. Alright, there's two ways of going about. If you're OP as hell like me, you can just go in there and annihilate them. Or you can go through here, and just to show it. Oh, yeah, green herb back here, which you don't want to miss, because health items are very useful in this game. There's a box right here. Red herb, and that called all their attention. For this, at this point, I do recommend to just run out in the open and try to take down as many. Oh yeah, only do this if you know what you're doing. If not, then you're kind of screwing yourself over. Yeah. And I will pull out the Chicago typewriter since, I guess, literally he is a boss. That is a uh, Dr. Salvador. Their health is very high. Well, not very high. It's above average, and he is very dangerous. He has a one-hit kill, which can screw you over pretty bad. And he drops a ruby the first time you kill him. But remember, in this area, there's two Dr. Salvadors. <sighs> Alright. If you wanna... You can either survive five minutes, or you can kill 50, 50 of these enemies. But to set up another cutscene, you can go in here, but you'll still have to fight Dr. Salvador. <sighs> oh yeah, the zombie just said go from behind. Block his path. I got you. Yeah. <laughs> and that is all my time. Alright, well, sad to say, the assassin will have to leave us now. I will proceed on my own, but tomorrow, hopefully, there will be more, and the assassin will take part in this. Yes, I will. Well, thank you for having me. It was a pleasure. Alright, well, see you later, assassin. I will see you tomorrow. Alright, goodbye. Bye bye! Alright, as you just heard, the assassin will be taken off. Oh, here on this wall, you can find the shotgun, which does very minimal damage, a grenade, and some points. Pesetas. Coins. And you can jump through that door. Two enemies here. But of course, since I'm OP as hell, they won't hurt me. And some hand am handgun ammo if you need it. Uh, there's a lot of enemies, but like I said, you can either. Survive by killing 45 enemies, or just kill, um, surviving 5 minutes. Oh yeah, the second time you kill him, he drops, well, uh, 10,000 pesetas, which are coins, of course. Um, hello, very, very pretty cow. Um, there's a box. There's a few health items back here, which you don't want to miss. There's your first yellow herb. Uh, there's a red herb back here. She just said, over here, dumbass, in Spanish. Um, what is, oh yeah, there's a spindle up there, which is, a uh, collectible. And sorry if this seems unfair to you, since I have, since I am only using two items that are really extremely overpowered. I apologize if this seems unfair to you, but I just, uh, oh god. I will now transition back to my handgun, to my red knight. Please go away, enemies. Alright. So, this fight takes a minute. Got a spindle. Not literally, I mean, it takes five minutes, but yeah. I really don't know what to say anymore. <laughs> like I said, I don't talk much. Uh, chicken egg. Oh yeah, chicken eggs and chickens drop eggs. Of course, that's uh, the basic knowledge 101. Chickens drop eggs. <laughs> chickens lay eggs. And that's how chickens are born. Still, um, they drop eggs, and a brown egg, I do believe, does the least amount of health co uh, recovery. And then a normal chicken egg does as much as a green herb, and a golden egg does 
is a four heal. Oh my! You prick! Sorry, I got cornered in. And that does it for that. Yeah, Milano Resident Evil has the best lines ever. Alright, and if you don't know what those three zombies said, um, one of them said, that's the bell, the other one said, we have to pray, and the third one said, we have to go inside. Alright, there's also some uh, loot you could pick up, which I didn't because, of course, I had to run for my life. You could simply kick that down. Um, oh, yeah, this bookshelf, you could push it so you could give yourself a few extra seconds to take a breather, relax, you know. And then there's two crates back here, which you could break, of course, and I do believe one of them will have money. Yeah, there you go. Hanging ammo over here, always. There's always going to be hanging ammo so you could rely on that. Um, Leon, please. Uh, come up here. Oh yeah, there's some shotgun shells back here, which I don't need. But I'll take them anyways. Definitely the type I don't get along with. That is a picture of a man. Um, alright, that does it for this part that I've shown. Well, this house, I guess. Uh, where is it? Here it is. Back here, there we go. Through the window into their kitchen, let's be rude as hell. There's hanging ammo and a fire grenade. Incendiary grenade, sorry, I want to sound professional, clearly. Uh you get more hanging ammo, they prepare you well. What sinister looking fellow? He kinda does look evil, just saying. Uh that didn't have anything for me, but they can increase the chances for you guys or y'all that are playing this game. Uh cow, chicken, tower. Alright, in here there will be, of course, a door, a barrel, which can shatter. It This barrel drops random things, but yeah, this, you can move it, you can block the door, you can have a spare second. Alright, this lock, you can't just kick the door down with it. You have to break it off with your knife or a bullet, there's money there. And this door, what some people like to do is stand back here with a shotgun in their hand, and as soon as they open the door, just shoot them. That's a really smart strategy, and if you're a newcomer to this game, I do believe that is the best choice for you. There's always going to be some ammo in here. I'm not sure which, though. But I know I got lucky this time, and it gave me a lot of shotgun ammo. Thank you, game. Whew, my voice is getting a bit tired. Um, I do believe there's nothing back here, but just for kicks, I'm going to check it out. Yep, oh, hanging ammo. Right here. So you, can re you don't have to worry about running out of ammo, because there is a quite a few. If you go up to this high bell tower, um, oh yeah, be warned, this is not a good camping area to wait out the zombies, because I think it's after 30 seconds they start throwing molotovs up here, and that could really mess you up. So you jump down. Um, I do believe that does it for that area. Oh yeah, there's a, there's a few small houses back here. This one contains coins for me. Let's set that. And then... Yeah. Oh yeah. After you finish, like if you kill the first Doctor Salvador, if you survived him, um, the second one will not appear. So you don't have to worry about that. Like I said, only do that if you're really prepared. Alert order. This is a note. Recently, there has been information that a United States government agent is here investigating the village. I do not let this American agent get to the con uh, get to contact with the prisoner. For those of you who are not informed yet, the prisoner is being held in an old house beyond the farm. We will transfer the prisoner to a more secure location the val uh, in the valley when we are ready. The, pri uh, yeah, the prisoner is to stay there until further notice. Meanwhile, do not let the American agent near the prisoner. Excuse me, that's a burp.
We do not know how the American government found out about our village, but we are but we are investigating. However, I feel this intrusion at the particular time is not just a coincidence. I sense a third party other than the United States government involved here. My fellow men, stay alert. Chief Bart Bitterness? Bitter. Bitterness. M Mendes. Okay, he's a big chief. Let's just call him uh, Mendes. Chief Mendes. Because that's a lot easier on me. Um, turn around. Don't look at his hat, because it's very fancy. Funny, funny. Um, there's over here. There's another... Nothing over here. Oh, yeah, you can also camp back here. But it's going to be a bit harder to get out, since there's only one exit, and it's very small. So, remember that. If you are playing the game with me, which I doubt. Alright. And, on we go. Oh, right. I have to end the episode off here, guys, because... I already hit the 10 minute limit, or well, over the 10 minutes, and I hope you have enjoyed this part. Please drop a like, subscribe, and see you guys next time. Bye.